to vlogcast number one. So I've done some podcasting before, uh, Telling Yarns podcast, Knitting podcast, uh, Knitting slash Yarn, and I have been watching a load of Vlogmases and thinking that actually I'd like to do a vlogcast. So this is a vlog slash podcast about knitting, yarn and sort of the life around that. Um, if you would like to follow me on social media, I'm telling underscore yarns on Instagram. Uh, all of our yarn for sale, everything we do, podcast, previous podcast episodes, future vlogcast episodes, all the details for the show, everything like that, and all our yarn is at tellingyarns.com. Um, I'll put links below. So one of my inspirations for doing more of a vlog rather than just a podcast, traditional podcast that I had been doing, was uh, watching the Corner of Craft, Hannah from the Corner of Craft, her vlogmas. I really, really enjoyed it. I actually ended up watching the 2019 one as well, uh, not just the 2021. Uh, really enjoyed it. Just, I think it's nice, particularly at the moment with COVID and, you know, not being able to mix with people and stuff. It's really nice to have that kind of experience of spending time with somebody else who's interested in a lot of the things you're interested in. And I know that you're not physically with the person who's doing the vlog, obviously, I know. Um, but it's just nice to have that kind of, that situation where you're spending a lot of time with somebody and seeing what they're doing day in, day out. So I thought actually that would be a lot more fun because I find, so what I've probably not mentioned before, a bit of an um, sort of honest explanation is that uh, I don't just do telling yarns. I also have a, a full-time job which is normally based down in London, but obviously over the last year has not been based down in London. I've been very lucky to be at home and still working, really, really fortunate. So um, I have a five day a week full time London job. I then do telling yarns um, around that as a real passion project, um, which hopefully one day will be what I do. Um, but at the moment it's definitely just something that I love to do. Uh, and something that I'm really passionate about. Um, then I also do the accounting for my family farm, which isn't a big job, it's just a couple of days a, a month, um, but that's another thing I do. Uh, James and I, we have three boys, as I will have mentioned before. Uh, we have Oscar, who's 10, and twins, uh, who are seven, Felix and Milo. So it's busy, I'm really busy all the time. And as a result, I don't get as much time to knit as I'd want to do or when I watch other people's podcasts you know they've got all these different things that they've knit I don't have that amount of time I just don't you know I've just explained what I am busy doing and that doesn't leave it leaves time for knitting but not all day so um so I thought if I do more of a vlog cast then I, there's not so much pressure to be getting so much knitting done in order to do a podcast episode each time because I was finding I wanted to film a podcast but I didn't have enough content um so yeah, that's what I've been doing. So I thought I would show you what I was knitting over Christmas. If you followed me on Instagram, you will have seen these. This is the second Cornish Pixie. I showed the first one I'd done um, on my last sort of podcast thing. Uh, this was knit for Oscar. The first one was knit for Felix. It's uh, the Cornish Pixie from Harry Potter from, is it the third film? One of the films, uh, one of the books. And it's from the book, Harry Potter Knitting Magic by Tannis Gray. Um, so there he is. I, so I, I thought I'd knit them exactly the same. And if I was holding both of them here, you'd see that this one is just very slightly bigger than the original one that I did for Felix in the blue colour. So I think what I've done is I've used our Fancy Pants DK and held it double here because uh, it's an Aran weight pattern. I was going to say recipe then. Pattern. Um, Whereas on Felix's, I must have used our Fancy Pants 4-ply and held it double. So it's they look exactly the same, but Felix's is slightly smaller, which is quite accurate to what they're like in real life for the children. So uh, he's knit in a colourway that was dyed specifically for this. Oscar wanted him to look like a Christmas tree with Christmas decorations on. Um, I probably could have done that brief that he's set slightly better. But I got a bit carried away with the sort of vintage Christmas colours. Um, the bit I found, I mentioned this on the when I talked about Felix's, the bit I found the hardest on this was the facial features, the embroidery. Um, but it was much easier because I'd learned from doing Felix's 
how easy it was after I practiced. Uh, for Milo, I knit uh, Fluffy, the three-headed dog. So we were surprised this was a lot bigger than we were expecting it to be. There is no way, no angle in which this dog looks good for taking a photo, I've worked out. So um, the body is all knit in uh, bold Peruvian instant darkness powder. So that's a, a predominantly deep royal sort of navy blue, um, much like the walls and the curtains and the woodwork, <laughs> uh, with pops of teal, really bright pink and uh, a hot purple. Um, I knit it held double the DK weight, Fancy Pants, which is uh, a merino, nylon and cashmere base. It feels amazing. So held double with that and then the same colourway uh, dyed up on the um, alpaca fluff, which is the marble sorry alpaca, um, which is a lace weight. So you essentially got something around an hour and weight. I don't know, probably not, but who's, who's checking? Um, you can see there, I, I took away the fluff for the tummy and you can kind of see the colourway slightly better and for the feet as well. Um, I really love this colourway. I'm thinking I need to make... I, I had been, I'd cast on a Mamer by Pip and Pin, a really nice cardigan that's all just in one colourway. Um, and then I had to kind of frog it because I had so much else on, um, project-wise. So I'm thinking I might knit that in this because I just think it would look beautiful. Not with the fluff, just the base one. Then uh, he chose different colours for each of the heads. So I just swapped out one of the two um, Peruvian Instant Darkness powder um, yarns and held one of the colours. So we got this kind of uh, marbled effect. And then it has a collar and the safety eyes. And again, the, the stitching on the face was not much fun, but we got there in the end. So yeah, that was Milo. So those were what I made for the kids. They each got one teddy for Christmas, which was handmade, so that was nice. Um, I've since cast on, having finished those, um, I'll talk more about it later, but I've cast on the Fox Thoughts cardigan. Um, I'm using this as the base, which is aboard the Hogwarts Express. And then I'm throwing in a mixture. I'm not gonna show them in too much detail because I'm gradually releasing them for the yarn advent a mixture of the colourways from the 12 Days of Christmas Yarn Advent, which is also the Goblet of Fire series. Um, so I'll show you further through this, the um, first couple that I've put in there. This is For the Love of Ginny, um, Swedish short snap. Um, and then I've swapped out, so the cardigan is done in a lace weight and they change the background colour as well as the contrast colour, which gets you this kind of uh, gradient effect. So I've used in this darker section here where you've got the dark purple, I've used this, uh, which is the dark mark, as the dark contrast. And then I'll go into a lighter one and back through. Uh, it's quite complicated working out how to do it and I've kind of done it very much off the fly. I'm just making it up as I go along. So I hope it looks good at the end. Really what I should have done was sat down with them all and planned it out a bit better. But I haven't, so you know, that's how it is. Um, so I will show you more of that through the video. Um, one of the things I got completely inspired by, completely, uh, is watching Hannah at the Corner of Craft drink her Burden Blend tea every day. Uh, she did like a, a tea advent um, and had all these different amazing sounding teas and she took, puts them in a, uh, is it, oh I've forgotten the name of it, Steve? Anyway, um, she puts it in this special thing and brews it up and I decided, right, she has a, a code where she gets some money off it if you order. So I thought, oh that sounds really fun, I'm going to order that for myself for Christmas um, and order through her code so she gets a bit back for, you know, to say thank you for how much I enjoyed the Vlogmas. Um, and I also donated on her Kofi as well. Um, so you'll see a little snippet of that. So that's been a really fun thing. I'd recommend the, the Bird and Blend teas there. Uh, well, you'll, you'll see anyway. So um, yeah, that's what the podcast is, vlog cast is going to be from now on. So you'll see snippets of all the kind of things we're up to. We're going to go out for a walk in a bit. We've had um, Storm Bella. 
um, come through here and really affect some of the local area terribly. Um, a lot of people were evacuated over Christmas. We were really, really fortunate not to be a part of that. Um, hearts go out to those people that were. Our village flooded and my dad had to go and rescue people on a tractor. I'm not sure if they wanted to be rescued as they were like lifted up six foot off. Six foot or was it way more than that? It might have been way more than that. Like way, way up in this uh, like bucket. They had to climb. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this and whether it works better than the traditional podcast. Come for a walk. I forgot to say that he needed a plaster on his foot because he cut his heel yesterday. So I'm going to run back before we've even got... Ten minutes out of the house. Ah, <sighs> kids. So I am just looking for a plaster. Do, do. Plasters. That's only pantry cupboard. Look. I'm completely in love. It's like a giant cupboard that you can fit absolutely everything in. You pretty much don't need any other cupboards. Love it. So yeah, got the plasters. Gonna run back. Gloves on. There we go. Run back. I've got my welly boots from Jules that have uh, little dogs all over them, which I think are really cute. My dad, who is a farmer, looked at me like I was such a townie. We've got all the old white goods from the house out the front, looking like trash. <laughs> We had Storm Bella hit us on Boxing Day night. We've been really fortunate not to flood, but the village flooded and most of the surrounding area. So that's why the normally very quiet brook is currently a torrent. Just running so fast, it's normally very sleepy down here. Milo. See you being tempted. So I am caking up yarn for the colour work section of the cardigan I'm doing from the Pom Pom magazine. Um, I'm going to use all the Goblet of Fire colourways. So I've chosen one of the colourways as the main colour and then I'm using all 12 of the um, minis that I saved from the set, all 12 colourways to do the colour work. This is For the Love of Ginny. It's a really uh, like peachy, pinky, dusky, browny, Bluey, goldy, all the all the E's. Um, so I'm just gonna kick that up now, um, and that's gonna be the first. That's the first colourway from the set. That's gonna be the first colourway for the colour work. I've already caked up the main colour, which uh, is this. Uh, this is um, aboard the Hogwarts Express. I've got it, I'm weirdly doing it in different um, bases. So the main colour is on the merino quads that we stock. Um, and then the others are on the sparkle, because I really love the sparkle. I love sparkly things. 
so yeah that's what I've started with I'll show you in a minute the um, colour that I've started for the garden So I'm doing the pom-pom quarterly, the new one, and I've chosen the pattern Fox Thoughts uh, by Hiroko Payne. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Um, so I've cast on the collar already on uh, the uh, with the Aboard the Hogwarts Express in Merino Quads, and I'm just about to move on to the rest of it. second colourway that I'm casting on as one of the contrast colours is um, Swedish Short Snout. Um, it's got speckles of all kinds of colours um, but it's predominantly a bluey sort of uh, neutral one based on the Swedish Short Snout from the illustrated book of Bob Lotfa as all of them are. Uh, so I'm just going to wind this up now to be my second contrast colour. Just winding up the dark mark 
which is my second main colour. It's one of those skeins that just doesn't want to wind up nicely. You get them every now and again. Um, so this is my second main colour on the Fox Sorts jumper that I'm doing. Um, I'm on to my second contrast colour already. I've done the Fur Love of Ginny and Swedish Shorts now. I've already wound up uh, the Posse. Pensive. Um, I forgot to show you the sign. Sorry about that. James is paying demons souls on the boys' orphan Because that's a new habit we have, apparently. It's fine. No, I think that's fine. I'll probably drink that and see demons souls as like 18 now. But there doesn't seem to be any gore from what I've seen. And they're only watching in fighter box. I told you it's one of those skeins. Mm. <clears throat> okay. The Fox Socks jumper is going, uh, cardigan is going better than I thought. Uh, I was a bit concerned because you're working uh, a left steep chart, a right steep chart, and then a repetition of like chart A or whatever in the back and um, and you're having to consider that every three rows or something you're changing your main colour or your contrast colour um, so I was thinking oh, so many things to think about <laughs> seems to be going okay so far but I'm only on to the first increase on the yoke colour work um, sorry because you can't actually see the skein to see the colour. It's about to finish and I'll show you it. It's a mini skein. So this is the dark mark. Um, the one that's in the advents, which is this one here, um, is lighter. Uh, the one I dye up, which is going to be the main colourway. Excuse the boxes, these are from Christmas. Um, is much darker. Sorry, the mic is rubbish. Let's move you over here. It's evening now, you see. So yeah, that's much darker. Uh, still, not that you're getting a good colour. There you go. More the colour of the walls in here. With then uh, greens coming through. Um, and I put the green in first and then dye over it loads of times. And then it's got black speckles and uh, these really bright pink speckles as well. So they come through as like a pinky purpley tinge um, which is really fun to knit with. So, yeah. Just picking up some uh, New Year's sale orders. If you can hear small people shouting in the background, it's because uh, my uncle's uh, hounds that he's looking after are just going up the track. They're very cute puppies. <laughs> uh, although they're getting quite big now and look like hounds. Although Milo said to me yesterday, they don't look like hounds. They are actual hounds from the hunt. Sorry. I don't know how he worked that out. But anyway, yeah, I, if you can hear noise, it is Oscar and Felix playing on the computer and shouting very loudly at one another. Um, I am just doing a bit of work because it is the first day back after Christmas. Uh, so I've got yarn clubs coming in. I get a lot of yarn clubs that end at the end of the month. Um, so I have to send the next skein. And then I've got a few of the New Year's sale orders to pack as well. Hopefully everything's labelled up. I think we might have reached the point where the stocking has to go because um, it's now on the way. Right, what have we got up here? Some nosebleed nougat. Yay! 
Oh no, this is sparkly one. They don't want a sparkly one. They want a non sparkly one, which isn't labelled up. No sleeve nougat. It knits up really nicely, this one. Um, and that comes with a skein of you know poo for contrast. So I need to do a label for that. Then what else have we got on here? Peeping pastels socks. Oh, I've only got one of those left. Only one left. I don't know that I'll do those again. Um, unless somebody specifically asked for them. And that comes with, uh, so it's Puking Pastels, the Weasley Colours, with uh, a skein of, you know, poo. I'd say contrasting, but it's not contrasting, it's complementary. Toes and heels, so that's one order. Um, one of each, complete sock, yep. Yeah. One to be packed, then we've got uh, Ginny on... I have actually laid these out in the order of the sets now, so it's a lot easier. Ginny on Blossom Fallfly. Something like that. Yeah. Oh no, that's the barrow. Get the right one. Here we go, Ginny. Blossom Fallfly. Our Blossom Fallfly is 80% uh, Sephora Merino, 20% Bamboo. It's a little fluffy. Um, from the bamboo, but it's really soft and silky as well and quite strong. So that's a nice one uh, That's Ginny really soft peachy Pastely color. I'm gonna have to move the camera for next time because when I get close to you here uh, The curtain blocks out the light Let me do that now. Oh, I'm doing the Fox Thoughts Cardigan from uh, the winter pom-pom quarterly um, and it's by Hiroko Payne, who works at um, La Vienna and Me. And it's, let me find a good picture of the Guardian to show you properly, because I don't know if I've done that yet. So it can be either the sweater or the cardigan. I'm going for the cardigan, because I just, I wear cardies a lot more. I know I'm wearing a jumper right now. But um, when I go to work, actually go to work and stuff, uh, my day job, when I was allowed in the office, I do tend to wear cardies because you can take them on and off a lot more easily without messing up your hair and stuff. Um, so I started, right, so you can see there and on the sweater, the pattern is quite bold, but the key to this pattern is that it's a meandering colour change. And I wanted to do it in the Goblet of Fire colourways. And everybody very sensibly said on um, Instagram that I have need to choose a, a like more stark contrasting colours for the colour work to show up, which they're absolutely right, but I just wanted it to be that kind of meandering fade. And they achieved the fade by doing um, a lace weight, two lace weight colours held double so that you can change one and not the other um, and it gives you that kind of gentle colour fade and they change both the background colour which you never normally do in colour work and the contrast colour. Um, so what I've been doing is I'm going to do the main sections that are green here, the darker green, uh, I'm doing that in aboard the Hogwarts Express which is this variegated one. So obviously that's not a great one as the contra like the back colour for the contrasting colours. So you can see that the pink of For the Love of Ginny and the blue of the Swedish shorts now is disappearing um, into that. Um, so what I've done is I've gone into the dark mark is a dark uh, blacky bluey green and I have the version that I'm using as the actual colourway is this really, really dark one here. Um, and the one that was in the advent is much lighter. It's much bluer, much bluer, greenier, like that. Um, so I went into this one first and then I'm fading into the much darker one now with uh, the Pensieve 
as the contrast color which is a really light one um, so it is just starting to show through a bit better there I can't actually see the camera so I'm assuming that that's focusing and not focusing on my face um, so I'm going to do that dark mark as the background colour and use the lighter colours um, like Malfoy and things for the colour work, I think, for the contrast. Um, so this one's Malfoy. It's one of the ones I'm going to use. Um, I really like this one. I'm going to make a baby jumper for um, a colleague and she's having a little girl and our company has green in the name. So I thought I'd use Malfoy because you've got the pink for the girl and the green for the company name because it's a very small company and we're all quite um, devoted. So yeah, that's my Fox Thoughts cardigan. I think reserve judgment, yeah? Because I think everybody was right in their feedback on Instagram about what I've done uh, incorrectly on the colour work. But I'm hoping, well, I did want a gentle fade, so I'm hoping that if I go into these more stark contrasts, um, in the next colorways that I'll get that kind of fading in because if you look I'm only like um, about here on the color work so I've got a lot to go still so if I get the proper contrast going for the rest of it I think it'll just give a nice fade it could be wrong though um, this is what my bag that I've shown before from Botanical Yarn I've ordered from Sophie and Sally who make the bags who makes the bags for Sophie um like a version of this that's i think she calls it a tool bag in the same fabric that you can just have sat down by the sofa because i tend to have these sat down by the sofa and it's open um with handles so yeah i'm waiting for that to come off they will have been really busy over christmas and i showed this when i was knitting because i love it i got this from the fiber fox this pattern of fabric is just beautiful and it's a needle wrap because i've got the chowdhury needles which i absolutely love um, but I don't love the case for them, personally. It's not to my taste. So I got this absolutely beautiful one, which makes me think of Canada. And it's so well designed by Georgie and her mum from the Fibre Fox. Because um, you've got all the sections. So I've just gone through in US sizes, like US size 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't tend to use the chunky ones, but I've got them in my Chavi set. Then there's space for your um, cords there and a crochet needle, because I always end up using one. But the great thing is that this comes down and actually holds them in place. So I'm 100% chuffed with that and would thoroughly recommend one of those. This is the... Uh, this isn't the large, it is not the large, so if you've got interchangeable needles you won't, you won't need the large, get the other one, I think it's either medium or small. Um, so yeah, absolutely loving that and congratulations to Georgie at the Fibre Fox, so she just got engaged on Christmas Day and that's just the most lovely news, I'm so pleased for her, um, so wishing her all the best for this year. Um, yeah, so I need to actually get on and do some work now, so I will leave you to. So I wanted to show you my progress on the Fox Thoughts cardigan. I just watched a video on Instagram of somebody cutting up the steak. Oh, I feel like I'm getting the fear already and I'm only on the top bit. So uh, this is where I've got to. You can see where I brought in the dark mark as the main colour. And I went really light, so this is uh, the pensive going down through all the paler colours. And the last one I'm on at the moment is Molly at the Burrow. And then I'm going to start to fade into this lighter colour again and back through. Um, because there's some sections that are supposed to be dark in the background bit. And some sections that are supposed to be the background colour, the main colour is supposed to be lighter than the contrast. So um, that's how it's looking so far. And people rightly said on Instagram that up here, this section here, you can't see the colour work. Uh, in life, you can vaguely, in, like in real life, I'm holding it, you can vaguely see it here, the pinks and blues. Um, but I do see what they were saying 100%. So that's why I've gone for the darker contrast there. Um, but I wanted it to be more of a, like a, a mild effect overall, not 
just that traditional couple of colours colour work. So yeah, that's how I'm getting on with that. And that's my Fox Thoughts cardigan and my bag. Looks there's no way I'll be able to show you, will I? Um, it's filled with all the different colourways. If that's not a happy space, I don't know what is. So yeah, this has been the first vlog cast rather than podcast. Um, let me know what you think of it in the comments, what you want to see more of, what you don't want to see. Um, you know, let me know what you're working on. Um, give me a shout out if you're uh, a fan of the Corner of Craft or if you um, bought her Bird and Blend tea with her um, code that's on her YouTube um yeah so if you want to follow me as i said at the beginning of the video i'm on instagram telling underscore yarns um that's the best place to follow me um for keeping up to date on what i'm doing um everything to do with show notes and everything is below but also it's on the website tellingyarns.com um all of the things that i knit uh i also will photograph and put on there as well as instagram uh, and as colorways release they go on there so I hope you've all had a fantastic Christmas, despite the fact it was completely different this year. Um, I was just discussing on a work call that it actually did still feel like Christmas, I thought. So I really hope that happened for you too. So take care, everybody, and I will catch you again with another vlogcast soon. Bye.